of the most respected human beings. My parents had one aim for me. My parents wanted for me to get into an IIT, all right? And I disappointed them so badly. See, I'm a disappointment to my parents and they're a disappointment to me. <laughs> it's equal. Getting into an IIT. Is anyone here from an IIT? No one from an IIT. I love this unsuccessful crowd. <laughs> Best part of the show. <laughs> because to get into an IIT is so hard. First, you have to study for an entrance exam. You have to sacrifice your entire life to study for one entrance exam to get into a coaching center. How devastating is that? Where they'll teach you to write another entrance exam. And in India, we are so afraid of failures. Before any big exam, there's always a small miniature exam, right? Before your entrance exam, what do we have? Mock entrance exam. Before your final exam, mock final exam. Before your, before your placement, mock placement. Even before getting married, people go to Thailand. <laughs> We're the only country that's so afraid of failures. We're so afraid of failures, we don't even treat failures properly, right? Like, no one in India is a failure. If you do badly in studies, you're not a failure. People just say, yeah, you're capable. <laughs> and that messes with your parents, yeah. They think you're capable of doing anything, right? They're like, oh, you failed in maths 100 times. Yeah, yeah, IIT for sure. <laughs> He's capable. The thing is, if you're capable, you have to go to this thing called a coaching center. Do you guys know what a coaching center is? It's the worst scam. Like toppers should be the happiest people, right? You give it with all the praise they get in the country. Have you seen any coaching center ad? Any coaching center ad is the same picture of many toppers with progressively depressing faces. <laughs> Every ad, Rahul Iyer, 99%, first rank all over the country. <laughs> A picture of a guy straight from the Holocaust. <laughs> and the photo is always cropped here because if you're a topper, that's why your pants start. <laughs> hey, my fashion statement. <laughs> and the first rank, many cases, is a girl like Vu Revati. What does Vu stand for? Very ugly. <laughs> <laughs> See, like look at how you all are groaning. It's completely cool to be mean to toppers. Okay, toppers are the meanest people, and no one corrects them because they study well. The meanest, the topper gets the highest marks, right? And he's not happy, he, she's not happy with the highest marks. What, is it, what do they do for them to feel happier with themselves? They call everyone below, like, hey, how much you got? <laughs> 60, gee, he has AIDS. <laughs> the meanest people, man, like, I, I, do you guys know this? That like, our governments recognize the excellence in academics and they keep giving them stuff, right? In honor of them, right? And they give them things that toppers do not need. Like, this is a true story. The government of Tamil Nadu used to give toppers to study well laptops. Use is a laptop to a topper. Like, ah, now waste to like watch Game of Thrones now. <laughs> like, if you're giving something to a topper, give something that a topper could use, right? Like a makeover. <laughs> this is my daughter Revati. She was you Revati. Now you Revati. <laughs> I've been doing comedy for four years, okay? And the greatest show I did was one show last year, okay? It was a sold out club, much like this, right? It was a sold out club. And everyone got placed to sit, except for like five dudes at the back, okay? And before the show started, I asked, is anyone here from an IIT? And all these five dudes were like, yeah, dude, we are from IIT, Karakpur. You know how happy I was? Those IITians came to my comedy show and didn't get a seat. <laughs>